More and more, I find myself wondering if it's all worth fighting for. Resident Evil 5 is set 10 years after the incidents uh, the, of the original Resident Evil series. Uh, it uh, returns Chris Redfield, who is the hero of the original Resident Evil. Uh, it's the first time players have seen him in quite some time. It didn't take long after the fall of the Umbrella Corporation and their bioweapons to end up in the hands of terrorists. Chris is working for a new agency dedicated to hunting down bioterrorist threats, and he's joined by a new character, Sheva Alomar, who is uh, a, a member of the Afghan branch of the same organization. My name is Sheva Alomar. We have a bunch of new features in the game, including online co-op gameplay, which is new for a Resident Evil game. So for the first time, players don't have to face the terror alone. They actually can uh, work with a partner to overcome all the dangers. This old town's gone to hell. The people here, they're acting like those Ganado detailed in the Kennedy report. They've come to this small city called Kajuju, tracing this virus back to its point of origin, only to discover there's some mysterious agency that have been forcibly infecting villagers with this weird virus slash parasite. Chris and Sheva now have to figure out what's going on here, what's causing this destruction, and how they can put an end to it. Ready, partner? Locked and loaded.